Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to record a song with the instrument that you have selected and connected to your piano. Um, so I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, all you have to do is click on this first bar here or double click it. And then you have the piano roll opened up. Uh, if you notice, there is no record button outside of that there's only stop and play so if you want to actually record something you're gonna to have to do it on the piano roll so let's go ahead and open that all the way up one thing I recommend is knowing the range of your keyboard and you can see this is my highest note so I'm gonna scroll down to where that highest note is about right there my lowest note is all the way down there so as long as I'm sort of in that range then I'm happy. This is my middle C right here. So right there in the middle of the screen is fine. Um, so if we want to go ahead and do some recording, what I'd recommend doing is, if you need it, you can turn on your metronome now. This is a new thing in the new 1.2.2 version. So I'm going to turn on toggle metronome and if I hit play, you can see I have a metronome now. So I can kind of know what my speed is playing. Okay, so now that I uh, kind of got that, what I'm gonna do is leave myself some room. I'm not gonna start playing in these first four bars. I'm just gonna start playing from there forward. So I'm gonna hit record and record a little something real quick. Okay, so I have those recorded and now I want to actually record a little melody on top of that. So um, what I'll do real quick is just get a melody going. That sounds fine. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit record again, but this time with the play button over top of the record button so I can hear these notes playing as I record. And that's it. So I recorded those notes and now you can see they're all kind of there. And I'm going to hit play just to make sure it all sounds good. So you'll notice that there was a little weird thing that happened right there at the beginning. Um, that's fine. I can move the note just there to fix it. And the reason that note appeared a little bit over, well, I'll go over that later. It's kind of... Um, uh, it's like a built-in thing that aligns your notes up for you, but I'll explain that in a different video. So hitting them on time is important, but it, it's designed to help you uh, record the notes on time. Just going to play it one more time. All right. So now that I've uh, finished recording this, I don't want it to start four bars in. So what I'm going to do is click this select tool here, select mode, or I can even hit shift S. I'm going to click that. I'm going to drag my box over that stuff. And I'm going to hold shift and move it over to the left all the way. So now it should start right away when I hit play. Okay, so um, that's really it. That's the basics of recording, and that's but this is just recording on one track. So if I close out this uh, piano roll now, you can see my track is right here, 
and it's with this instrument. Now I could also do multi-track recording instead of kind of clustering all of my in, all of my notes in in one on one track. I could segment them a little bit on different parts. So I could I could have done these bass notes on a separate track and these this melody on a separate track. But for the purposes of this, I just wanted to show you that you can record multiple layers on the same track. But I also want to show you that you can you can layer you can put another uh, track in and layer as well. So I'll just go ahead and drag in this same sound font bank on the second track. And I'm going to take my keyboard off of this one by going to input and unchecking it. Now I'm going to go to this one, go to MIDI input and check that one. And now I'm playing on that separate track. And I'm actually going to change the instrument now something else Let's see here yeah we'll do the chimes so I'm gonna hit OK on that and now if I wanted to record over that I kind of put myself in a, in a weird position because I want to record that kind of uh, over top of it, but as soon as I hit record, it's going to start playing that melody, so I'll have to instantly start playing that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to double click this first bar, open up the piano roll. Scroll down so I can see where I'm at. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit the play slash record button and immediately start playing that. Okay, so I'm happy with that, but I don't think, did that first note get in there? Maybe not, but I'll just, I'll go ahead and hit my, my, my pen, my draw mode button here. I'll just pop that in. There we go. So now that that's in there, uh, I can hit play. And when I hit play inside of this piano roll, it's only going to play what's in this piano roll. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the, the metronome as well. But if I close out of this piano roll and I hit play on the song editor, it should play everything together. Okay, but it doesn't loop, um, so you have to play it over again. Okay, so that's it. That's the basics of recording. That's uh, recording multiple layers inside of one piano roll on one track, and then also going to add a second track and being able to record inside of that piano roll while hearing the other track playing. And that should be enough to get you going. Um, and I hope that it helped you out. Just uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks and see you next time.